All right, well, we're in the shop. We're working on a Deer 160 today. I just uh, threw a little paint at it this morning, and now it's time to get the swing transmission squared away. So I don't know why they call it a transmission, because typically transmission is more than one speed, but uh, it's a swing transmission from a Deer 160, which is the same as a Hitachi 200, EX 200, or something of the sort. You can see it's a Hitachi pack. And what happened was this machine hasn't held oil in this in years. Um, so I managed to, I kept on running it, um, which not the right thing to do by any stretch of the imagination. And sadly, you can actually see what's wrong with it. Right there, the seal popped out. Um, apparently what happens is they get full of water and freeze and you go to rotate it and it drives the seal out. So um, it's really too bad because it's a pretty simple seal to replace. Um, and that's all that was really wrong with this originally, but it had been run prior to me even owning the machine with no oil in it. So uh, what you have is a hydraulic motor, the swing motor engages the sun gear and it rotates this planetary set. It's, I assume there's another set underneath, um, but Needless to say, it's it's wiped out. There's uh, a ton of backlash in it. You could tell when you're running the machine that uh, something was gonna come flying apart. And uh, I took this opportunity. I, I, I priced out getting it rebuilt. And the John Deere mechanic basically said, it's a minimum of 2000 bucks in parts plus labor. So a brand new swing transmission in a crate was uh, 5,800 bucks. Uh, so. You can see how it engages. So there's a giant gear on the bottom of that transmission that engages with that gear in the, on the bottom of the machine. So you can see it fills up with water. So um, I've got my work cut out for me to get it cleaned out. You can see that's the motor there that engages the sun gear. So um, that worked fine. It was never giving me any trouble. So we're just gonna slap it back together. So once we get that cleared out, um, the procedure is to actually take 30 tubes of grease down in the um, gear case. So there's a little hatch on the front side of the machine right there that you pop that open and uh, you rotate the machine a little bit, uh, just stab a whole tube in. You just make like a little plunger and just push all the grease in and just keep rotating it. So 30 tubes later, you can see this one has been run pretty dry, but hey, whatever, we'll keep on running it. It's uh, not a bad machine, so thanks for watching.